Here I have some gray, marine grade vinyl that I'm using for this motorcycle seat cover. I'm using the marine grade because it's uh, UV protected and it's more water resistant than your regular vinyl. This is the gray side that will be showing. This is the back side. Here's a part of my uh, seat cover that I used that I took off the old seat. I'm using part of it. I cut it down to what, I, what I'm using. I added padding to it so the rider could reach his uh, shifter, his brake pedal, brake pedal and his handlebars better. So I'm going to have to alter the back part of the seat cover. But the parts that I can use I'm using. When I trace this, since this is the back side, I'm going to trace the back side being up too. What I want to do is keep it flat, keep the vinyl flat, then uh, take a pencil or whatever if you have a soapstone chalk or anything that'll work. You don't want to use marker on this. It bleeds through. That's what I was always told. I never ever tried it because I was always told it. So uh, that's just what I've been told. So I'm going to follow the pattern here. Just basically trace around here. Hold it flat. If you have a big piece that uh, you need help holding it flat. You can put soup cans, weights, rocks, anything to hold it down. I'm going to add a half seam allowance on here. So when you're making this pattern, you don't want to get too close to the edge. Give yourself some... Uh, room to make your half, feet, half inch seam or quarter inch seam or whatever you want to do. There's that. Like I said, I'm going to... There was a quarter inch seam here already, so I'm going to add another quarter inch just because I want a half inch seam on this. So I'm going to add another quarter inch to this. And so I'll just go through, mark a quarter, more this is how I do it um, there's probably better ways people that have been doing it a lot longer can probably eyeball it and uh, know where their half inch seam is but like I said this is how I do it you can do what uh ever is best for you. I got this mark here showing that's the center of my of my seat cover and the seat pad and I want to do this all the way around. Okay, Here's the old pattern and I traced around it added the another quarter inch seam allowance to equal a half inch allowance and uh, now I'll cut it out. Here's the old pattern. Here's a new pattern cut out. I got these uh, these arrows here showing where the center is. I'm going to fold this in half here. Fold fold it right there at the arrow. If I can show you this, I got this arrow kind of showing where the half is. So I'll fold it in half right there. Get my scissors and I'll cut that. So that's showing where the center of my seat cover is. I'll do the same back here. In one of the previous videos I showed you to make reference points. I did, uh, I usually do that underneath. 
on the bottom part when I pull it apart. This one, I did it on the top with a black magic marker where I can see it. You probably can't see it, but I'm going to mark them on the top of this. This cover here with chalk. That way I know where they're at. And these will line up with the side part of this seat cover. Now what I'll do is I'll fold this right where that chalk mark is. Then I'll do the same like I did on the center reference points. Now I'll do the same with the side cover. I'll have these reference points lining up with the side. That way you can start sewing. You can line up these reference points with the side cover. And that way you know you're in, in line, lined up, and you're, uh, you're even with the side covers. And then there's my seat cover where the rider sits and the reference points that are all marked out.